Hey y'all, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are doing two eye tutorials using Natasha Denona palettes. We are going to do one with the love and one with Leela. The reason why I wanted to do these two tutorials in one video is because I got quite a few questions about is love like Leela? How are they different? Do I need it? Should I skip it? And the first thing I want to say is if this isn't your color scheme, like if this isn't your gig, you don't like these colors, you don't wear these colors, your eyes don't naturally go to them, then automatically this ain't for you. But if you are someone who does kind of like the pinkies and the purples, then this would be very, very helpful for you in making the decision. In the end, we can do a little bit more of an in-depth comparison so you can see the differences in these palettes. So let's go ahead and get into the first tutorial. All right, so for the first palette, we're gonna start with Love First. And both of these looks are going to be more so on the purpley side. I wanna really, really dive into the purple tones. So with Love Palette here, I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eye with my favorite eye primer, Urban Decay Primer Potion in Caffeine. If you are someone who doesn't need eyeshadow primer, girl, skip it. Everyone doesn't have to use everything. Like I stated before, I have oily eyelids. So for me, eyeshadow primer is a must. Otherwise, once the oil starts breaking through, my eyeshadow will start disappearing on me. For my face, I have on the ColourPop, the Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer in the shade Dark 158. And then for foundation, I am rocking the Maybelline Fit Me Powder Foundation in the shade 355 Coconut. All right, so for our first shade here, we're going in with the shade Dream. And I'm going to take a MAC 224 brush. And this is going on in the crease. All right, so taking the shade Trust and a flat brush, and now we are going to just pack this. Ooh, she's pretty. Whoa, that was a lot of pigment. <laughs> I was not ready for that. Whoa, she packed a serious punch. Oh, and that line blended out like so too. Perfect, okay. If you're packing this trust shade on, just know it's, it's pretty potent, which is good. All right, and then on the outer corner, now we're gonna take this shade here called Commitment. And this is going out here. So the purples in here, to me, they are definitely more punchier in tone. And when I say that, I don't mean in formula, as far as it's the tone of it seems to be a little bit more vibrant, it's more warmer. Um, tones that are warmer always pull a little bit more vibrant. That's just the nature of them. Um, in the Leela palette, as you will see when we work in that palette, that palette to me is more on the cooler side. So it's more cooler tone, it's more mauve -y. it's not as violet and punchy as the purples in the Love palette. Then I'm going to take this Pure Love shade right here and my finger, and I just wanna place a little bit of that just to bring a little twinkle. All right, and now for the waterline, I'm going to take, I'm gonna take Trust. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of this Heartbeat shade, and we're gonna mix that in the waterline as well. probably should have laid this one down first, but that's okay. 
in, taking a little bit of heartbeat. Just kind of going on the outside here. All right, guys, so I'm not going to put mascara on because I am just going to rub all of this off. So just envision it with some mascara. So this is the first look using Natasha Denona Love. I'm back okay we are moving on to the Lila palette and I haven't done a tutorial with this palette I don't think no no okay so we're gonna try to stick in the purple family again and let's do oh well something else that I'm noticing too right off the bat with the purple so the purples that are in the Lila palette with the exception of the, so there's only three that are purple in the Love palette, excuse me. And out of the three, one of them, well, no, I think this one, yeah, they're all matte. So all of the purples in this palette, they are all matte. Whereas the purples in this Lila palette, you are all going to be shimmer tones. So that's something else to think about too. You know, do you like shimmers or do you like mattes or are you someone who's just kind of good with whatever? So, and obviously in both of these palettes, there are more than purples, but I think kind of like that whole purpley tone is what is making people think that these palettes are similar when they are not. Like you still have the purples in here, but also you have these cool tones that surround it. That's why I say that this palette is definitely more based cool tone than the Love palette because I feel like for the majority of the looks that you're going to pull out of here, it's gonna be more so on the cooler side with the exception of this, these two center shades here. That's just my opinion though. All right, let me shut up. So first I'm going to, let me see, I need a matte. I'm gonna first go in with this shade here. So I'm just focusing this. I'm not taking this all the way in because I don't want this matte shade to go all the way to the inner corner. So I'm just focusing it on the outside. Okay, then we are going to go in with, and these purples I feel like aren't as dark as the ones in the Love palette either. Shoot, let's keep it simple. Let's take this purple here and let's throw this all over the lid. Why not? I have no idea what I want the look to look like. I never do. Typically just wing. Yeah, see this purple, I definitely see, this looks more so of like a purple blue to me than the other purple that I use all over my lid, which was, Trust. Trust is a true violet purple and it's also matte. This shade is amethyst, amethyst. Okay, that makes sense. And this is a shimmer shade, but it definitely looks more blue purple to me. And don't worry guys, we'll do another eye tutorial with Leela. I did not forget, I know I still need to do looks with Leela, another one, and Safari. Now I'm just taking my 217. Now I'm just blending this up. I'm also gonna pull this down to the inner corner, and I'm still using the same MAC 217 brush. All right, now I'm gonna switch over to my smudger brush here, and we're gonna use this shade Layla right here. It's almost like a gray, but it's got a little flex of like a deep purple in there. It's like a gray, like a deep gray purple, kind of like a pewter a little bit. Here's my, oh, there it is. I'm just gonna take this. This is definitely a 
on the cooler side. This shade is so hard to describe because it looks gray, but then once you get up close on it, it's like one of those gray, it's got, it's definitely a gray, but it's got like a purple pinky base to it. All right, now I want to take, what is this shade? Livid. This shade right here. Still using the smudger brush. Pop that right in here. And then maybe in the next tutorial for this palette, we can use the other side that's a little bit warmer. I'm gonna take a little bit of this shade up here. This is by Ola, just for kicks and giggles. Oh, that's pretty. So Viola is definitely more of a warmer purple. And let's take a little bit of Viola and put it at it I don't think I want Viola on the lid I liked it better how I had it before so I'm just gonna go back over with amethyst again I'm just gonna go over it All right now I am going to go in with some liner because this is the last look for the day This is the Marc Jacobs Liquid Highlighter. All right, and this is going to be our finished look. All right, you guys, let's compare. So when I look at both of these palettes, for me, the two things that stand out is, okay, both of these palettes have a purple. Now, just because they both have a purple doesn't automatically make them the same. I feel like personally, Love to me is more of a warmer palette, you know what I mean? So it's going to give you more of a warm vibrancy, whereas I feel like Leela to me, you have a couple of warm shades in there, but it just doesn't seem as vibrant and punchy to me as the Love palette. Now this is a beautiful palette, I like it. Um, this is just more so I feel of a cooler tone, more mauvier palette than the the love palette so the purples here because that's what I want to focus on today the purples in the love palette versus the purples in the Leela they are two different types of formula so now you have to kind of ask yourself okay well first of all let me take it back if you are someone who doesn't like purples pinks cranberries if those shades just don't pull at your heartstrings, then yeah, neither one of these are going to be for you. But if you do like purples and pinks and mauvey tones, then yeah, you might kind of have your eyes on these palettes. Now, again, formula. What type of formula do you like? I personally love Natasha Denona because I love all of her formulas across the board, from her mattes to her satins. I think they are all just mwah, fantastic. Now, the purples in Love Palette, they are her more satin matte creamy finish. Whereas the purples in the Leela palette, they are more of a shimmer. So with that right there off the bat, that is going to be a huge difference. As you can see the tonality from the Love and the Leela, yeah, it might be the same tone, but the finish, how it looks on the eyes when using the purples is going to be very different. Now, as far as which palette do I think you need, it's just gonna be a matter of what you like. In fact, I think we need to really realize that all makeup is subjective, it is all your personal preference. I feel like if you're someone who wants something a little bit more toned down, then the Love palette 
palette probably isn't gonna be for you because you do have a little bit more of these punchier colors in here. Like you have this heart shade, which we're gonna do a tutorial using this. Um, we have the heart shade. You've got some kind of these fun shimmers in here. Whereas Lila, I feel like is more of your everyday palette. Whereas Lila, I feel like it's a palette that you can make for your everyday life. Again, you do have a little bit of these warmer tones in here, but the shimmers in here aren't as payal and maybe these are more so everyday friendly versus the shimmers that are in the love palette and also like i said you get this row of cool on the outside so so those are just my personal thoughts and opinions on it because i know that was a question i was seeing a lot and again it's all going to boil down to your preference you guys so down below i want to hear your thoughts do you prefer love do you prefer leela or do you just prefer neither one of them because you're not into the purple pinky mobby toe movement let me know down below you guys know the deal keep it simple and i will see you in the next video peace